Welcome back. In this video, we shall go through the concept of parent-child components in React. You know, when building real-life web applications, we are going to have more than one component being rendered to our browser. We are going to have a header, banner, about us, footer, and as many components as we want to create. So we shall be using the parent-child structure to achieve that. Before that, let's say I want a web page that has the header section, the banner section, about us section, and the footer section. Normally, I'm going to do it like this, right? I'll come over here, and I'll just come here, and I'll create a div here with a class name set to header. So this is my header section. And also, I can create an unordered list here. I'll have some list items there. And I'll say two, and I'll call this three. Save that. And I'll come out here, and I'll create another div for my banner section. And I'll pass the class name, set that to banner. And I'll say, using the H4 heading tag, this is my banner section. And that's that. I'll come down here and I'll pass in another D with a class name set to about us. And I'll pass that down. And I'll say, do you know about Niger project on YouTube? And I'll come down and I'll create a div for the footer section that, that is going to just be a paragraph tag with this is my section so this is just an example actually in real life this is not how your website is going to look like you have lots of classes lots of divs images buttons forms and the rest of them to make a full web page I'm just creating different sections so that's why I said so that's why I said you need to be actually grounded in HTML CSS bootstrap and JavaScript to understand properly and to follow along throughout this course properly. So let's head over to our browser to see what we have. You can see we have, this is my header section. We have our unordered list. This is my banner section. Do you know about Niger project on YouTube? This is my footer section. So let's head back to our VS code. This can actually be a lot and it kind of defeats the independent component structure purpose of React. That's because I have my header section here, which is supposed to be an independent component. I have my banner section here, which is supposed to be an independent component. And I have two other sections, the about us and the footer section, which are also supposed to be independent. This file here is supposed to just be for the header component. So this defeats the purpose of React. So we shall be using the parent child component to achieve something cleaner than this. So using React, I'll come here first to my index.js file. Let's say we're changing this to root comp, standing for root component. Root comp, probably root components. Let's take that out. And let's delete this file, the header.jsx file. And let's create a file with the name rootcomp.jsx. So let's head over to our SRC folder, right click on the folder, select new file, we say rootcomp.jsx. And in our file, the first thing to do is to import React. React from React. The next thing to do is to create this component known as rootcomp. So let's 
do that. Before we write anything in our function, let's come down here and export our component by saying export default root comp. So let's come up here and let's return our JSX. And let's just pass in a D for now. So let's head back to our index.js file and you all know the next thing to do which is to import our component here, our root comp component. So we can say root comp from root comp and let's save that. Everything is working fine in our app currently. So let's come in here and let's just test this and let's head to our browser to see what we have. Everything is working fine. So let's go back. This component will serve as the parent component to our header component, our banner component, our about us component, and our footer component. So the way to pass in this children component into our parent component is for us to come here in the div tags, let's say header, just the same way we normally pass in components here. So maintain the format by by using an uppercase letter at the beginning and that's the header component let's pass in the banner component and let's pass in the about component and finally let's pass in the footer component so with these we have four children components in our root component the next thing to do is we shall be creating four files to house these four independent components. So let's come over here. The first file to create will be for the header component. To do that, in our SRC folder, we are going to say header.jsx. The next file to create will be the banner, the banner.jsx file. And we are also going to create for the about the JSX and also finally for the footer the JSX so in all of these four files we are going to import react in in all of them function okay there's the banner also return section and let's export this export default banner now let's copy this and let's go to the about us section let's paste this so we have to change the name here from banner to about and also change this to about and let's come here let's pass in a h tag a h2 tag and also this a h2 tag and let's say do you know about niger project on youtube so let's head over to the footer file and let's paste this also. Let's say footer. Let's say footer also. And let's say this is the footer section. Now let's come to the header file. Let's see. the header section and I just want an unordered list in the header section and let's also so let's save this and okay we have to export the header component 
So let's come here to the root component and import all of these components that we have created. So we are going to say import about from about and we are going to say import header from header import footer from footer and also import banner from banner you don't have to import these components in any particular order in whichever order you import them it's going to work just fine just understand that the order in which you arrange the components here is how it's going to be displayed in our browser so let's go to the browser and see what we have you can see we have the header section here we have the banner section here we have the about us section and we have the footer section if I come here and I take this out which is the banner section and I put it below the footer section and I save if I come back you see the banner section is now beneath the footer section so that's only where the order matters how you place the components so let's take that back and let's go back to see everything is fine now so this is what makes react very great it helps us create independent and reusable code as components so if I need the footer of this web page on another web application all I'm going to do is come to the footer components here and just get everything I need from the footer components here and that's it and just to mention every component can return a child component of its own just like this I can still come over here to the about us component and I can return another component in the div tag by just saying my own child and also come here create a file called my child my own child or JSX create a component function my own child and all I have to do is export it and import it to this particular component which is the parent component of this child component don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share.